Okay, it's time to pull the elephant out of the closet here. And by elephant, I mean Shea Weber. Sunday night against the Boston Bruins, the Montreal Canadiens had an incredible pregame ceremony. Okay, if you were there, I'm very jealous of you. And uh, I could even hear you lads screaming from all the way down here in Newfoundland. It was sick. And over the last few days, I've been reading countless messages of support for Gil Fleur and his family from current players on the Canadiens roster, like Jonathan Drouin, who we all like to throw rocks at from time to time, and even X Habs players are taking the time to, you know, show their support as well. Thomas Placanic being one of these guys that comes to mind. However, one player, a very important player, the uh, El Capitan of the Montreal Canadiens was nowhere to be seen and nowhere to be heard from. Yup, Shea Weber has been MIA throughout the entire season, becoming the silent Bob of the Habs. <sighs> Remember last year when Kim Jong-un didn't make a public appearance for like eight months and people were beginning to get concerned? Yeah, this is the point we're at right now with Weber. What's the scoop here? Since the 2021 playoffs ended, we found out he's got some career-threatening injuries to his ankle. I've heard his thumb is all messed up, which is probably from thumb wrestling. I don't know, I made that part up. But anyway, you get the point. We haven't heard a whole lot about him. Yet, he is still the captain of the team. He still gets paid. He's still under contract. And in my opinion, for these reasons, he should still be leading by example. If you're not going to make a difference on the ice, then try and make a difference off the ice. Get involved a little bit, you know? I'm not going to lie. I'm disappointed. I was fully expecting to see him at the game on Sunday night, or at least a video on the Jumbotron showing support. Even a message scribbled with a crown. Something. But there was nothing. And that was irritating. It looks bad. Okay, and in the words of Michelle Therrien, it was a lack of respect. Jeez, Weber, come on! And it sucks, because I've been a huge fan of his since he broke into the NHL. The guy was a monster. I was even excited to see him on the Canadians after losing P.K. Subban just to get him. And looking back today, in my opinion, I don't feel any regrets myself about that trade. I think he's been an excellent captain since he's come here, but this year, not so much. And I know he hasn't even been here and this might not even be fair for me to even say. But the fact that he hasn't given the fans some kind of an update or uh, make a couple comments on the team itself or maybe, you know, share a Guy Lafleur experience or offer some words of encouragement during times like Sunday night, it really leaves me scratching my head. <sighs> Does anybody have an explanation for this? Huh? Anything? Yeah. Now as for his future with the team, there was rumors surfacing near the deadline that Kent Hughes was actually in talks with the Arizona Coyotes on the possibility of moving Shea Weber's contract over there, you know, to help them with their cap management. And supposedly, things were getting pretty close to happening, but in the end, there just wasn't enough time to cross the T's and dot the I's. Maybe the Coyotes FaceTimed him and asked him, you know, what he thought about joining them and he looked at them like, uh, like that. Mum's the word. But anyway, from what I've been reading, don't be shocked if this is a deal that Kent Hughes and the Canadians revisits during the offseason. And as silent as this guy has been, we are actually going to hear from Shea Weber very soon. Luke Jelena from RDS would say, quote, Weber will be in attendance this Saturday along with Jeff Gordon and Kent Hughes for the team's end of season review. Now I know what you're thinking, oh my god, is this going to be the real Shea Weber? Is it really him? Or will they have some guy that looks like Weber pretend to be him? And this is it, we don't really know. So let the speculation begin. Is Weber going to announce his retirement? Is he going to say that he's going to play next season? Because I highly doubt it. I'm going to go ahead and make a guess here. I'm probably wrong, but I think this Saturday, Shea Weber announces his retirement from hockey. He's probably going to thank the Canadians organization. And if they ask him where he's been over the past eight or nine months, he's going to dodge it. You know, he's going to play it smart and say he was abducted by Somalian pirates or something. Who knows? But don't miss this one. It's not very often we get to see Gordy Tron, Mr. Clean, and Silent Bob on one setting. So yeah, you might want to tune into this one. 
Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I know this topic is a bit of an ass jabber, okay? I get it. You're either understanding of his absence throughout these important events, or you're more like me, and you just don't get it. Plain and simple. Let me know all about it. Don't forget to bite the thumb off of that like button. And hey, I'll see you next time.